what's up Slasher Mini folk, I'm doing a new update today, a recent pickup thing with everything that's everything I've gotten over the past few months. I haven't done an update in a while, so thought might as well should do it. Alright, now first I'm going to start with some DVDs. Um, first I got the X-Men trilogy, the first three X-Men. I haven't watched the third one yet, but it's pretty good. I got Batman Begins and the Dark Knight. Two amazing movies. I can't wait till the third one comes out. It's gonna be, um, it's just gonna be amazing. Um, next I got Electra. Um, I haven't seen this yet, but I got it. Two bucks or something. So finally, Iron Man Two. Love this movie to death. The, um, first one's amazing. Second one's even better. Um, he was in the Avengers, um, which was probably one of the best action movies I've seen in a long time. Um, nothing much really to say about it except it's just epic. It's Robert Downey Jr., which I have something else to show you of his in a minute. Um, but yeah, he's just a boss. Um, next I'm going to CDs. These are CDs I picked up for a dollar at Metropolitan Ministries, where I'm going to be working this summer. Picked them up for a dollar each. Pink Floyd, um, a collection of great dance songs. Um, haven't listened to this yet, because I know every song on it, so I don't feel the need to listen to it, really. Um, yeah, the, it's an Australian pressing. It's, a, of course, it's an Australian pressing, so the stuff is all the papers and everything is in terrible condition, like, um, it doesn't even look like an actual CD, they're just, um, it looks like fake, basically. I don't know if you can see this, but it's just really fake, the disc looks really fake, um, just like all Australian CDs, really. The booklet doesn't even fit in the case correctly, like, it still has a bunch of space up at the top where it just falls out. Um, Next thing I picked up was Blues Traveler 4. I'm going to see them hopefully with Bare Naked Ladies. They're like 9 bucks for a ticket or something down at the um, 1-800 Askerian Amphitheater in Tampa. Next, this is just an amazing album, amazing people, amazing singers, amazing everything. Weezer, a blue album, one of my favorite albums of theirs. Um, songs on it, My Name is Jonas, um, Buddy Holly, Say It Ain't So. In the case it's broken. The little glass thing. Need to get a new one. Um, next I picked up the Scorpion Savage Amusement. Um, it's an okay album. There, I haven't really listened to it, but there's one I bought it for one song, um, Rhythm of Love. It's my favorite Scorpion song. Next um, thing I picked up, um, Chumbawamba. I used to have this when I traded it to my friend David Gracia. Um, slash your main network. Um, found it again for a buck, so I was like, might as well. It has Tump Thumping on it. Love that song, so. Uh, lastly, for that um, section I picked up was White Snake. One of my favorite albums of the 80s right here. Um, notable songs on it, Here I Go Again, Is This Love, Still of the Night. Great album. Next up I picked up was some other CDs, but these are picked up at different places. Right here I got Sons of Bill. It's an alternative rock band, um, brand new CD. I actually saw them live and I got to meet them, so I got the booklet autographed. It's pretty sweet. Um, it was a great concert. I saw them with Tim Reynolds from Dave Matthews Band. I don't know if you guys know him, but very good guitarist. Very underrated. Next I picked up, um, Bruce Springsteen Wrecking Ball. I love this album. It's such a good album. Um, probably the best album he's put out in the past probably eight years, eight, ten years. Um, the only other good album was probably um, Working on a Dream. It had, no, it had a couple notable songs on it. But, um, great album. I actually went number one, just like about every other one of his albums in the past few years. Um, next, Robert Downey Jr., like I talked about, um, The Futurist. Now, this is just amazing packaging. It's just like normal CD packaging, but it's just amazing artwork. You take it out, it has a 
has this just amazing artwork. And he just along with amazing artwork, he has an amazing voice. Um, which you wouldn't expect from Robert Downey Jr., but he just has I wanna say it's like a Frank Sinatra of this time, but it's not because it's completely different. It's just like easy listening to. It's just a beautiful voice though. Um, it's amazing. Amazing album I definitely is recommended. Um, next I actually did this in a video, uh, it's a whole other video for this album. Um, but it's just so amazing I need to include it. Godier making mirrors. I'm hopefully hopefully going to see him um, October eighth, I believe. The House of Blues in Orlando. One of my favorite albums of probably the decade. It's amazing. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Um, next, The Shins, Port of Mora. It's an okay album. Notable songs that I like the um, The Rifle Spiral and Simple Song. My buddy Dakota on here says it's like his favorite album of this past decade. It's okay. Alabama Shakes. I picked this up the same day I picked up the Shins and the next one I'm going to show you. Um, this one was 8 bucks. Shins was like 7 bucks or something. And the next one was... Uh, I'll get into that. Um, <laughs> this is a great album. I actually heard about them through iTunes. I just saw on the alternative section. It was like number 8 or something. Number 7 on the top alternative list. So I was like, okay, might as well listen to it. Just listen to them. Um, I fell in love with them. They're actually getting more popular now. Um, they were number 7 or 8 on the Billboard Hot 100 or um, Billboard 200. I'm sorry. Um, great album. Woman's very butchy. Doesn't matter, but um, notable songs though on it are Hold On. Great album. Okay, <laughs> now this is the last CD. I bought this CD after I bought the vinyl of it because I wanted to... I, I love the vinyl so much. I actually picked it up like two or three days before it actually came out. Um, I loved it so much I wanted it on my iPod. And I didn't know that this thing came with the vinyl, a download card. Um, it fell out actually and um, I never saw it until after I bought the CD. So it really pissed me off. I had wasted 13 bucks on this. Jack White Blunderbuss. Um, it's up there with Godier as one of the greatest albums of this past decade. Uh, so far. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing album. Um, probably the best stuff he's actually put out, um, between White Stripes, The Ray Contours, Dead Weather, Solo, this is the best. Alright, to finish off that, those, that's finishing off CDs. Next are my recent, um, used vinyl picked up. I've been really into Steely Dan lately, so I've been picking up a lot of Steely Dan. Pretzel Logic picked this up at Mojo Records for $4.99 the other day. It's in great condition, great album. Um, the spine's in great condition, along with just about all these. Um, but then I picked up Asia. Of course, everybody knows this. This is their most popular album. Has Peg on it, Josie. Great album. Deacon Blues, Asia. Next, The Royal Scam. Great album has um, Don't Take Me Alive, um, the Royal Scam song. And this vine, you know, like I just said, the spines for all these are in pretty much great condition. Except for the, not the next one, but the one after. Um, Steely Dan, Gaucho, um, notable songs, Hey 19, Babylon, Sisters, hey, um, Gaucho. Not Steely Dan, I'm finished with that. But ACDC, um, Back in Black. One of my one of my favorite hard rock albums of all time. Um, one of the greatest selling albums of all time. Um, this was right whenever um Bon Scott died, so they were trying to keep A C D C going and this was a tribute album to Bon Scott. Um sung by Brian Johnson, the current and the new lead singer from back then. I actually got some more Steely Dan and not Steely Dan, some more ACDC and actually some Brian Johnson solo albums. Um, I probably got eight or ten of them. Um, used in pretty good condition. They all play well and stuff for from a friend for free. So, but I'm not gonna 
I don't want to show them in this, and I don't feel the need to. But, um, next is Peter Gabriel's Bell. Such a good album. Notable song with Sledgehammer, In Your Eyes, um, Red Rain, Big Time, Mercy Street. Everything's good off of it. Everybody knows this. I picked it up on the side of the road, along with the next album, um, and probably about 25, 30 others, um, for free, so... Yeah, I was just getting rid of them. He couldn't sell them, so he just got rid of them. Um, so I picked them up. They all play wonderfully. Next and lastly for this is Abacab, Genesis. Um, I don't really know many songs on it except for No Reply at All and Abacab, so. But. Great song. Okay. Last. Oh, actually, no. I have a couple more used by now. I'm sorry. Next is Greg Allman, Laid Back. I got this from my buddy Raph. Um, this is the only album I've ever got from him that actually plays well. No offense, Raph, if you're actually watching this. But, like, every one of the albums you've ever given me, like, skip. Except for this one. Great album. Great. Um, the first song on it that they actually play is an Allman Brothers song, um, Midnight Rider. So, this is, the case he gives in amazing condition. I actually saw him back at Bush Gardens in Tampa, Florida, um, a few years ago. An amazing concert. Apparently, one of this is what he says. One of my buddies um, actually lived right next door to him when he was married to Cher, so um, it's pretty cool. Back in like the 70s. And lastly, for my used vinyl, David Gilmour, um, self-titled album, notable songs. There's no way out of here. Um, Hillas, um, Hollas, sorry, some, something like that. Um, picked this for five bucks, used at, um, Mojo. Good album. Not my favorite of his solo stuff, but it's really good. Um, next are on to my new vinyl. I picked this up, um, I already showed you the CD of it, which pisses me off. Um, but, Jack White Blunderbuss picked it up two or three days before it actually was released for, like, 25 bucks at Mojo. Um, Notable songs on it, Love Interruption, Freedom at 21, 16, 14, um, my favorite, the I'm Shaken, um, Take Me With You When You Go, um, and Hip Up and Almond's Poor Boy. Alright, next, I picked this up, uh, probably two months ago, 20 bucks, um, new at Sound Exchange, Boss for the People, I've listened to this probably about 35 times, 45 times. Um, and the vinyl's still in amazing condition. Um, comes with download card, good thing I, well I actually had the CD before, a burnt copy of it actually, but notable songs, everybody knows this, Pumped Up Kick, Rain and Beat, Call It What You Want, um, Houdini. Lastly for this, um, uh, my dad actually picked this up and it actually came with the actual disc, the CD. So he actually has listened to it so many times in his truck that it now is scratched. Uh, <laughs> terrible. Dr. John Lockdown. Notable songs are all of them. This is the first album in a long time that I have actually... Every song on it is actually good. Um, like, it's just amazing. It's produced by Dan Auerbach and lead guitars on it from Dan Auerbach from the Black Keys. Um, it's a great album. Okay, lastly, for this, I picked this up on Record Store Day. Um, the same day I actually picked up the Jack White. But I have a couple of them. They're actually worth some money now. Um, this one I picked up for 10 bucks. It's um, Neon Trees, Everybody Talk. Um, it's a single. It's shaped like a heart. I haven't opened them, but the song is really good. Um, I haven't opened any of these. Um, I'm actually going to put them in like a pile of record store day, sell them on down the line whenever I need money, because they'll be worth something. Um, pay nine bucks for it, it's worth about twenty now. And this is only three months later after I bought them. Next, um, this isn't worth too much more money, only a couple bucks on eBay, a couple bucks more. Um, pay nine bucks for it. Uh, Bruce Springsteen, Rocky Ground, single off of the um, Wrecking Ball. It's a great song. Um, it has a, the promise on it live, so um, it's worth.
the pickup. They still actually sell these for the um, eight bucks, nine bucks at local record stores. It sells for about ten on eBay. So not too much more, but next the White Stripes Handspring paid ten bucks for this. Um, two great songs, um, Handsprings and Red Death at six fourteen. Um, of course, it's a terrible drummer. Meg White, one of the worst drummers of all time. Well, I don't even want to say that because Jack White actually took away from her drumming because he did everything. Um, synth, guitar, um, even some drums. Even like He took Meg White's drum set away almost. Like only on a couple songs, like he just played. She's a self-taught drummer with the one beat. That's <laughs> all you really need for the White Stripes song, so. But next, I was very excited to pick this up. This is the only reason why I went to Record Store Day, actually. Um, Sasha the People Broken Jaw, I paid 8 bucks for it. It's the cheapest thing I actually got. It's worth about 20 now on eBay. Um, also, it has Ruby on it, the single Ruby. Um, great deal, great song. They're like the, the extended song is from the torches, which I actually have. So, okay, last thing. Um, I picked this up for 18 bucks on Record Store Day. It sells on eBay right now for 90 bucks. Um, and it's the only one actually that was sold in Tampa, Florida. Um, I was actually lucky enough to be at the right store at the right time, and the first person in line at Record Store Day. I waited like two hours in line. David Bowie, the Starman single. Um, picture disc. Amazing. Um, David Bowie is one of my favorite artists of all time, Ziggy Stardust. I actually had to go to a concert. I had a concert to choose back in ever. I choose his last Ziggy Stardust concert at the Hammersmith Odeon. Um, I wish I was there. So anyways, guys, um, thanks. Um, have a good day. Peace.